Hey guys, it's Marie. So welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over my full creative process when I make a fluid art piece. So let's get started. Hey guys, so the idea for this video is for my friend Gil, okay, what is my process, and his channel is Build or Buy, and I'm going to link it right there, I'm also going to link it in the description, and in my last video making this painting, he was like, you know, Marisa, you didn't talk during it, and I really wanted to know the, your process behind making fluid art pieces, so that's why I'm doing this video, so thank you, Gil, for this great idea. So one of the first things I do is choose what type of surface I want to use. So it could be a canvas, and I'm just getting my filthy um, wooden canvas right there, wooden piece. I could also choose something like this. I got the Dollar Tree, something cutesy. So like for one of the first things I do choose is my surface. All right. And then I'm also sometimes I like review things. My friend Stacy just made this and it's a 3D printed uh, pour. So I'm also going to link Artsy Fartsy's uh, Artsy Fartsy Lovers channel, Stacy Nicole. So that is actually one of the purposes today is trying that new one out. And this is how my last painting dried that crushed velvet and I will link that as well and one of the next things I also do is choose my colors but not just my colors the the name brand okay premixed I could choose premixed my color range and also the brand of paint I want to use as well because each acrylic paint does react differently so I am going to use this beautiful split pour cup today and yeah so let's go on to the next section. Alright so next is setting up. So we got my little stand here, we got my mat, my silicone mat, I have all my paints lined up in the way in which I'm going to pour them. I also got some white on the side and then I always have my tools kind of already hooked up. I got my pour tool and a little behind the scene, this is my phone stand if I get, get that overhead shot. So here is how I finally figured out how to get that overhead shot. Um, and those are the colors I chose not to use. That's another part is what I am not going to use. All right. So I'm going to use this beautiful pour tool for the first time. All my colors are lined up and let's continue. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, so one of the first things I do is I'm going to now just pour directly into these little sections here of the split pour. And in this section, honestly, sometimes I just let it flow. I do make certain decisions beforehand, but then sometimes I make spontaneous decisions about how much of each color to pour in. Um, sometimes I layer them. Sometimes the way I pour is totally spontaneous. And that is the beauty of fluid art and abstract art. I am an abstract artist, not just with fluid art. So my thought process is slightly different. It could be getting specific shapes. It could just be a, feel, a feeling. So now I'm just going to pour down some white. And this is another brand. So this is another decision I may make um, because sometimes you never know how certain paints react together. They may react very poorly together. They may react great. So honestly, fluid art is also about being fluid yourself. So I am going to just pop these bubbles with my heat tool. That's why I already have it pre-plugged uh, in so it's ready to go. And I like to be prepared. But I also like just to be literally fluid and go with the flow and make decisions at the last minute sometimes. 
so now I have decided literally the last second this is what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna hold my hand very very steady and continue pouring in that same spot so I get those really cool rings and try to get all the paint out And there that is. And I love doing this because I love seeing the colors and the light. And I just wanted to show you guys all the colors. So yeah, it is not only important to be open, to be spontaneous, but it's you know good to have a plan um, and to try new things. I think one of the most important things is to be teachable and to grow. So now I am just tilting the canvas and trying to get some really cool textures and some beautiful colors with the white and just really enjoy the experience more than, uh, more than anything is just to enjoy creating art. And I love, now this was something that was totally unexpected. Um, that beautiful white just popped through the colors and it's making this really really awesome texture and excuse me I just hit my camera so yeah look at that so this to me was totally unexpected I was not expecting this whatsoever but I absolutely love it so that is and I'm just now just cleaning up the edges and I'm gonna get my heat tool and just kind of move around the paint just a little bit but I am really loving all of that white popping through. I love being surprised. Um, that is another thing about fluid art is the surprise. You can control a lot of different things, but sometimes you just get surprised and it's an amazing experience. And I really do suggest, you know, everyone try this at least once because it's just um, eye-opening, it's fun, it is just, some one of the best decisions I made in my life to become a fluid artist not just an abstract artist but adding fluid art into my repertoire of art making I'm just tilting the canvas a little bit and I got this really cool wave okay guys this is my beautiful painting that I am so thrilled with thank you again to Gil and to Stacy uh, for Stacy sending me these beautiful uh, pour cups to Gil for this amazing idea. I love the way this painting came out. And, you know, I just want to say that, um, look at this mess. <laughs> just look at this mess. But after that dries, I can use the skins to make some jewelry. So that is very cool. My heat tool and the two paints that I did not use. So, yeah, thanks, Gil, again. And I just want to say it's really, really important to, like, you know, expand on your repertoire, on your art making, to try new things, to be fluid, don't be stagnant. And I this video idea was just great. I got to express myself verbally on how how it feels to make fluid art and it feels great by the way so gill's um channel will be in the description as well as stacy nicole our artsy fartsy lovers so thank you guys so much for watching today i really appreciate you watching and sharing this experience with me and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos and i will see you in the next one bye